Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 33 Tarot, which is reviews well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current for overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. If it doesn't work the first time, try again. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. I'm saying that because this is the second time I'm recording your video, Scorpio. The first time I just wanted to cut off. And it's sort of like you want to cut me off. Um, not everyone out there, but I kind of feel like there could be someone. And the first card coming out is the Hermit. So, well, there's that. Let's see. At first, if you fail, try and try again. <laughs> kind of funny, even if you do, are trying to cut me off, Scorpio. If you, if you failed the first time, try, try again. I mean, there's a chunk. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, um, I will say this energy is a little bit different than the first energy that I picked up. A little bit different. wonder why. It's almost like, um, why cut someone off when you can just cut to the chase? Like just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get to it. Just, just make the decision. Just make the decision go with it. Sometimes in a little... A little bit of a drive, a little bit of fire with that drive. Um, make the decision and just go. Go for it. Because what you're showing me, a lot of this energy is a little bit indecisiveness and on the fence. I don't exactly know what is going on, Scorpio, but the energy is a little bit different. Um, before, it was almost like you were addressing your situation, your circumstances. This energy is like, okay, let's cut through all the BS and let's just get to you. This is an energy of you having to figure out and work on you. So maybe I'm the one, even though it's, it felt like you try to cut me off. Um, now all of a sudden it's like, now I got to be a little bit extra sharp. And clearly it worked because something that's going on here is deeply personal to you. I don't know what's going on, but there is this difficulty in reflecting upon your situation, your circumstances. At the same time, things are happening so very quickly and rapidly for you with momentum. You're having to take some time to yourself and rest and recover. I don't know what this is, but you do have a lot going on for yourself right now, which you are kind of are kind of aren't keeping track of and keeping watch of. I do see things are kind of in progression, but kind of not. You're in this decision of... I'm going to kind of keep watching tabs on this, but kind of not. I'm going to kind of wait, but I'm kind of not. Um, you're a little bit in between and you're a little bit indecisive with yourself, I feel, because even though the high priestess shows up, I kind of feel that, well, you're kind of halfway listening to yourself. You're kind of halfway doing the work. You're kind of halfway dealing with this. And unfortunately, you know, with the lover's card showing up, you have a decision to make, whether it be about romance, a partner, commitment, or a life path, or maybe a career. I don't exactly know. But again, there is this energy moving forward up. You know you have to make this decision. And then after that, the moon shows up. You know you have to make this decision. But for some reason, it's almost as if it's... You're not even wanting to face fully what's going on with yourself personally and that's what i find very fascinating i still remember the previous read it was you trying to figure out the situation the circumstances with taurus um let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and kind of see what we can kind of find here i'm a little curious let's see something's going on something's clearly going on that makes everything feel like it's just not necessarily moving forward or progressing. Um, what may be causing that or the reason for it? I don't know. So let's see if we can kind of find out. Um, yeah, I'm looking at an angel and a devil next to each other. 
angel and a devil next to each other. But what's fascinating is the devil comes second. Not to say that the angel comes first. It's actually, well, it should be the other way around. The devil should come first and the angel should come second. But what you're showing me is um, I'm trying to, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about here, Scorpio. You're telling me that you're not really doing the full 100% work on yourself to go dive deep into the darkness of oneself and make known the, the emotions and the thoughts regarding the situation and where you're at with it. But yet you're also showing me, I'm not going to really fully do that. I'm just going to choose to be patient and you choosing to be patient with this, um, it's causing an obsession or a fixation on the situation that isn't healthy. It's actually toxic. It's like, no, 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 no. I'll just brush that to the side tomorrow. I know there's something going on with me personally, but I'm not going to deal with it today. But yet, as time goes on, uh, it's in the back of the mind building up momentum and building up resistance. And then becoming toxic. To not want to reflect on something or even check in with yourself and acknowledge your emotions and your thoughts. Yeah, there is, there's something here about that momentum that, that has you going, oh boy, um, <laughs> when and where did this start to happen? When and where did this start to happen? I wish I knew. I wish I knew because I've got questions still. You're, you're saying, oh, something is speeding up regarding my situation, my circumstances, and um, how did I get here? How did I get here? Where's this going? Yeah. Things are ramping up. Things are ramping up, that's for sure. Yeah, now you're trying to contemplate, like, um, is it time to get start a new path? <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. Um, hmm. that, is a, that is something you got to ask yourself, Scorpio. Is it time for a new path or new beginning? Because you are definitely contemplating it. Uh, I feel like for you, you're like, okay, what is my truth? What is my truth about this? Okay, so it could be that. It's just an energy of... So either way, you still got to do the work. It just depends on how. Yeah, whatever this... Goodness gracious. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Yeah. Everything you've been kind of watching and keeping tabs on right now, there are definitely issues and complications, whether it be financial or whether it be romantic. Um, but you're kind of, you're kind of sitting on the fence of deciding, like, do I just walk away from this because there are too many issues and complications or do I actually try and fix and save this? And I feel like that's why you're like, well, I'm, I'm kind of undecided right now. Undecided. Jeez, 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 jeez. And you're having to wait. And you ultimately what you're saying is I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait, but I feel like I have to. I've been put in kind of a certain type of position or situation and it's not easy it is not easy it's like you're having it's almost like you're having to wait when you don't want to wait or vice versa jeez 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 winging it huh winging it you're like ah, i'll figure it out i'll wing it interesting um, but if your if your idea and your mindset is I'll go with the flow, you're clearly not going with your flow because there's something here again that you yourself aren't acknowledging. I don't know what's going on, but you're ultimately telling me that well, if I if I kind of just do what I need to in that moment, I will kind of reach this energy of fulfillment or self fulfillment and happiness um, individually. By the way. Yep. Um, you know you got to make a decision about commitment. Again, whether it's with a partner or whether it's with a career path. Um, but you yourself also know, like, being... This is what's fascinating, is you yourself, again, with that acknowledgement of oneself. Um, you are you know that there are these things that you're having to work with, but you're kind of, like, halfway working with it. Um, it feels like you're trying to kind of swerve and find a roundabout way through it. And that's what's causing complication and more challenging energy for you internally. Um, again, it's, it, again, it's the energy of, if you don't address and acknowledge these things, it's going to build up and build up and build up. And I feel like that's what's happening is, well, the queen of wands on top of the deck, it, it's only going to point back to you. It's, it's going to become more difficult and more challenging. 
It's kind of like saying, I know, I know, I know. Don't tell me you know. Follow through with an action of what you feel like is best for you. That's a little bit different than I know, I know, I know. There's Taurus coming out at the end. So, like I said at the first reading, um, Taurus showed up a little bit faster. Now Taurus is like, mm, I don't know if I want to listen in or show up. Um, this is fascinating. This is fascinating because what you're saying is this energy of fantasy, illusion. I'm not going to say mystical. I'm not going to do it. But it's definitely fantasizing, imagination, um, letting your imagination kind of run wild. And I'm not going to say run the show, but it's in a sense being half rooted in reality and your head up in the clouds, but your heads are more up in the clouds than your feet are in reality. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but you're ultimately saying, well, regarding the situation, the circumstances, maybe I'll just kind of seek out advice, guidance, or help in some type of form, possibly. At the same time, I'm going to sit here and tell you as a form of advice and help, you got to do the work and acknowledge yourself. You, you have to, you have to, it might be scary. You might not know how, but you have to, otherwise you're going to go around and around and around in circles here. So of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have showing up Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, heavy Pisces. And that's it. Goodbye.